Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to learn how to make these sugar roses. Um, I'll put a list of what's needed in the description box below. We're going to start off with a 1 inch polystyrene ball and I have a 20 gauge wire and we're just going to thread that through the middle of the ball, fold it over and then fold it again the opposite way and then we're going to twist that together. Now you can use pliers if you feel like the wire is too um, thick for you to do this. This is just to make the centre of the rose more sturdy and it also reduces the weight of the rose. I use this method for when I want to make a bigger rose. The smaller roses I just roll a bud like what I've just have done now and I would use a cocktail stick for that. Once you've rolled this bud we're going to flatten off the edge just with the thumb going through the middle. We're going to attach this to the polystyrene ball. Now I'm just pushing it on and just smoothing over and using my uh, paintbrush just to take off the excess. So you can just see that I'm just making it into a bud shape. Now you could uh, buy um, polystyrene buds. I just find this way a little bit easier to do uh, just because you can really point the end of the bud rather than the ones that you can buy tend to be quite rounded um, and you would still need to point the edge of the uh, polystyrene bud. So that's what it should look like. Now I've got one of my uh, rose cutters. Now this was in a set of nine and this is the third one. Uh, now I'm making more than one rose at the moment so I've just cut quite a lot. I always cut more than what I need. Uh, just in case one uh, cracks or goes to the wrong shape. Now I've got a polystyrene pad and a met metal ball tool and I'm just going to uh, flatten the edges a little bit. Now we're not looking to crinkle them so you can see that I'm pushing them back down into place. We just want the edge to be a lot thinner than what it is at the moment. We're going to wet uh, one side and you can see that I've got one here and I've put it sideways uh, and we're going to fold the slimmer end in first and just press that down gently and we're going to take it all the way to the tip and then what we'll do is we'll fold over the other side like so and then once we've done that we're going to stick our other petals on. Now this wants to come slightly above the um, the one that we've just put on and we're going to put all five of these in. Try to get them roughly at the same side, at, at the same height sorry. Uh, so I've not sped this bit up because I want you to be able to see what it is that I'm doing. So I'm just pushing the bit with the water on into the centre of the bud and I'm leaving the other bit loose right now. Now it's up to you what type of style of rose that you want. You can make it a tight rose with lots of um, petals in the middle or you can make it slightly looser. Um, I always like to do the first set quite tight. Um, so once I've put all five of them in, you can see there, um, I'm just gonna wet my brush and take most of the water off. And then I'm just gonna start to wet the next part so I can fold it in. So just a little bit of water and I'm just folding it in. Now I've got quite fat fingers that don't allow me to get right into the centre of that. So that's when I use my brush to do that. So you can see that I'm just wrapping it around. Not applying too much pressure because it is quite soft in there and I don't want to lose the shape of what I'm creating right now. So it's just very softly with the brush and just a gentle amount of pressure. And you're going to do that with all five of the petals. And then it should look something like that when you're finished. So I've speeded this bit up because it's the same process as before. So we've got the um, five petals. We're going to thin the edges. We're going to put them on the same way as what we did before. So we're just going slightly above the top petal from the last row because we're going to build the rows up a little bit to bring it back down 
and we're just going to put in the five petals exactly the same as what we did before but this time we want to try and loosen them up a little bit so they don't want to be as tightly pressed um, as the last bunch was so when you're wetting we're just going to wet a little bit towards the bottom leaving the top bit slightly loose the bit that's coming from the inside of the petal we're going to make sure that that bit's glued down but the bit that's coming towards the outer petal that's the bit that we want that little bit of movement in and you can go in and start to curl the top of these petals just to make it look more like the rose is opening again you could create a tighter row if you wanted a really tight center and then start to bring it out in the next one so now I've added some white to the color that I've got this is just to make it a little bit lighter we're going to roll it out and then this is where it gets a little, probably a little bit complicated because sometimes I will add three and sometimes I will add four it's all about how it looks to me rather than um, I think the other video that I've done where I make roses I stick to sort of the rule of three five and seven whereas this one I kind of just go with what the rose looks like to me so again I do five petals so if you ha end up with a little bit that's missing like that still use the petal because you won't see that bit anyway we're going to thin out the edge and then with a cocktail stick we're just going to go in and roll it forward and pull it back and we're going to do this on all five of our petals so you're just literally pushing it forward and pulling it back and the same process again just very lightly Don't apply too much pressure and then flip them over and then with the ball tool we're just going to circle in the middle and that's going to curl the petal up for us and then with a little bit of water we're going to wet each side so almost a little bit of a V on the um, on the petal itself so now we're going to stick that on and press down on the bits that are wet and then pinch it together and just pull the petal slightly. So this wants to be a similar level to what's already there, but we're just going to push it on, making sure those wet bits are stuck down and then pinch it together and pull that petal outwards. So just like that. And this is how we're going to create the rose opening. So I felt like this one needed to have four on, so I've put one there. And then just going in if you need to with a little bit of water with your brush just to attach it a little bit more closer. This is all about how it looks to you. So some people like it to be a bit wider and coming out a little bit more. Some people like it to be quite tight uh, at the centre. So it's all about how that looks to you. So again, I've added more white. We're going to repeat the same process. So mix it together, roll it out, and then go into the next size cutter. Um, so the reason that I add white is so that the center of the flower uh, looks darker and the outside starts to look lighter. Now for this one, I've colored it with um, some skin tone sugar flare and then I have added some um, dark brown in just a touch of dark brown just to give it sort of like a dusty peachy kind of tone to it um, you can color it with anything any colors that you wanted uh, dusky pink is a really popular one and again that's just baby pink with um, a little bit of brown in there um, so I'm just Thinning the edges again, uh, we don't want any frills, so you can see that I'm flattening them down with my fingers. And then we're just going to use the same method as before, where we're going to pull back um, the corners of the petals. We're just going to do this for all four. And then we're going to use the same technique with the ball tool. 
Um, so you can store these in a, uh, you can get like a petal tray to keep that shape, but I tend to find that it, it stays like that anyway. Um, and then what we're going to do is take our flower, and now we're starting to move the petals down the flower, um, so it's sort of like opening up a little bit. So you can see I'm placing it on a lot lower, and I'm attaching those two sides just quite firmly covering the bottom of the polystyrene and then just pinching it and sort of pulling it outwards. And you're going to work your way around the flower doing this. Again, it's up to you whether you use three or whether you use four. Um, <clears throat> it's about whether you can see a obvious gap when you uh, put it together. So you're just attaching the, the water that you've put at the side. So it's very important that you don't put any water in the middle of the petal because we don't want that bit of the petal to stick to um, the bud that we're doing. Uh, we just want this uh, sides to attach. So we're gonna push that in and just pinch and pull it out. And so you can see now that the rose is starting to open. Um, and I'm happy with that. Uh, so I won't need the extra petal, but here's the other roses that I've made. Now, <clears throat> there's two other roses here that I've used a different method, um, and it's literally just I've made my own bud, and then I've attached it, and I've not put as much in the middle. So I will do a separate tutorial just for those two, um, just that, so that you can see a different way of doing roses, and it's about whatever works for you. Um, so again, I've mixed some more white with my uh, pink, so it's getting quite light now, and I'm going with the same size cutter as before, and I'm just going to cut some off. So I will um, do a tutorial for how I've attached these to the cake. Um, so I'm just making these for a wedding cake that I've got coming up. So I will film how I attach them. Um, usually I insert a bubble straw and I fill that bubble straw up with fondant <clears throat> and place that inside the cake and then I would use the wires to go inside that. Now with regards to the flowers that um, are on cocktail sticks, obviously those are um, food safe so those I can just insert into the cake. So you can see with this layer, I've not folded back all of the sides. I've left one with just one folded back. That's because roses are not uniform. Um, so not all of the leaves would be, not all of the petals would be coming back. So I'm gonna place this one quite low using the same method, pushing on the side and just peeling that back. Any excess at the bottom, I'm just wrapping around the, um, the wire that we've got and we can trim that off when it's a little drier. And then attaching the other one. So pushing it down at the sides and then just pinching it out. Now for this one I used Renshaw's modeling paste. It was quite firm, it didn't need any support while drying. If your fondant is a bit softer um, and it's drooping down what I would do is I would do the same method, but then I would actually store the flower upside down for about an hour just to give that fondant time to set. So this is what you should have when you are finished. These are the different sizes all together. And here's the ones that I made with the buds as well. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please click the links on the screen now. Thanks for watching.